Hey there, it's Fight here with an update on the tools, email tools I'm using specifically on Inbox, which I highly recommended to my list the other day. And now I've got some nice data to show you that, yes, it is a good choice. Where I'm here, which you can't see, let me just pull this down, is G-Lock Apps. It's one of the many tools you can use to uh, check how well your email autoresponder delivers into the inbox. Basically, the, work, uh, the way it works is they give you a list of email addresses, which they monitor. You then include a, uh, include a special code in that email you're sending out from, for example, Aweber. Where's my Aweber? Here, you know, I send out an email from Aweber to their particular testing list, including this one particular tag. And then they can check where those emails end up. Do they go to the inbox? Do they go to, uh, this is typically the, the promo tabs. Do they end up in spam or are they missing in action? So what I've done is I have run this for the various services I'm using. So here at the bottom, what you see is drip and you can see it has a score of 94. Yes, that's great. Um, it is also very expensive compared to, for example, on inbox, which is this one here with 82%. Now, before you go, oh, that's a lot missing. I'll get to that in a second. So overall picture is this. And by the way, I didn't arrange these in any order. This is, I ran them in this order. You can see from the dates here, right? I first did this, then this, then this, then this, then this. Um, they're all the same, exact same email. That was important when testing this whole thing. And what we see here is the top number one is my fully tricked out Amazon SES account. Okay, When I send from this, I get the highest number of uh, deliveries or the highest score overall. However, it comes at a cost because compared to, for example, Drip, there's quite a bit of content in the other, as in, in the promo tabs. However, in practice, that's not really a big issue because when you build up a reputation with your list, of course, in the beginning, you say, hey, by the way, if you want to keep receiving these emails because you see the value in what I've got to say, please pull them over to the primary tab. So this, of course, what we're seeing here is from uh, basically cold traffic or a cold relationship where people haven't pulled your emails into the inbox yet. So I wouldn't read too much into these orange numbers here. And as you can see, they're fairly similar. 18, 17, 18, 19. And the only one that really stands out a little bit is drip. Um, this may be because I use drip most and because the Gmails of this world may have recognized my email address. I'm not entirely sure that they kind of gave me a little bit of a bonus there. That may be. So anyway, so the high scores are really down here. The drip, my tricked out Amazon SES. And remember, I initially said, well, the beauty of in on, uh, on Inbox is that you don't have to fiddle with warming up your servers and doing all the horrid, horrid configuration on Amazon, etc., etc. Uh, I'm not exaggerating. It's a real pain in the backside doing this on Amazon and then warming it up. Once you've got it up, you know, yes, you do get a nice boost. Now, the one thing that would stand out and concern me a little bit is, of course, this number here, the spam. But, uh, at on inbox. Why do I end up with 13? Incidentally, uh, I will focus on this in a second because that's really the on in inbox solution I was recommending. We can immediately look at these other two and go, uh, Aweber, good riddance. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, you are gone. And that's kind of what I said in the previous email anyway. And then I was quite shocked by this here. This is SendGrid, uh, which is a very popular application for send. It's a bit like Amazon SES. It is easier to set up. They seem to be less stringent with what is required. And look at this here, send a score 10. So basically, really what's going on here is this shared IP, this one over here, is so full of spammers that the inboxes of this world say thanks, but no thanks, right? You know, compare 55 inbox versus 17 inbox. That is not very good. That's less than a third. And as a result, the overall score for SendGrid here is 49. Now, I'm absolutely sure if you get a, a dedicated IP on SendGrid and you warm it up properly, etc., etc., you will get very good um, scores. And it, it's not just a guess. I believe Drip are using SendGrid. Um, they just do what I just told you. Warm it up and make sure it's always clean and above board. But 
the key point of on inbox here in the middle was that you don't have to do this whole technical fiddling. Alrighty, so let's look at this here. The reason we've got 13 and spam is really down to one service. Uh, so we go down here, and this is actually rather rare to have all of this here, um, you know, uh, nice and green. Uh, there, it's not on uh, blacklist, which is beautiful. There, you know, spam assassin likes your email. Even drip is on blacklist. Uh, Amazon, uh, not Amazon, Aweber is on a lot of blacklist. Uh, the 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 one here actually. Let's just go back just for kicks, right? This one here. Uh, come on, in we go. Look at this by comparison, right? A terrible sender score, blacklisted on quite a few lists here. Um, spam assassin, you saw exactly the same email. The other one had a spam score of 0 0.8, uh, 0 0.2, and this one has a score of 8.5, so terrible. Let's go back to this one here and how to get it up to stellar levels. And basically what it is, is look, lots and lots of lovely green. Now free.fr goes to commercial. Well, that's, you know, that that's what happens um, when you don't have a reputation with your subscribers. And if you start getting them to pull things over to the promo tab, uh, the, the promo tab, just like here, you know, by default, it all goes in here. Now, the one where it all goes wrong, one hotmail, uh, you know, I can live with that. Uh, you know, one spam here, I don't even know what that is, Mimecast, NetCurry. Here is where the bulk of the spam action is, and it's basically Outlook. So, in other words, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. If I can fix those ten with one fix, then I've suddenly gone from. Let's look at this here. Where are we? Uh, here we are from 13 in the spam to 3 in the spam and 41 to 51 in the inbox. Okay, and now we are very, very comparable to the, you know, the how to set up Amazon or the, you know, expensive drip email. And the good news is they even tell you how to do this. So content analysis tells you where my HTML code is broken, but more importantly, it suggests why Outlook filtered the email from the form domain to the spam folder. And here is what you can do. There are various steps, steps you can do. You go and do this, you fix it. And now you find yourself with, you know, basically this one uh, service, super super cheap compared to the other ones and super, super easy to set up because it's all taken care of with the performance of these services down here. So fortunately, well not fortunately, you know, uh, I, I ran this and it, this confirmed what I suspected. This was a very su uh, positive surprise. So there you go. On inbox, definitely a double thumbs up. Cheers. Bye.